everybody, to Championship Saturday. We're back with you here for the start of the second quarter of play here. Oak Bay on the Eaton Henderson Triple. Come to an 8-9 lead after the opening quarter of play. Been loving it here tonight is the Tamalis Wildcats and the St. Thomas More Knights doing battle for the 53rd annual BC Boys Junior Basketball Championship title. And what a game it's been as we enter the final eight minutes of play here from the South Court at the Langley Event Center. Belong Jay wants the touches and he's going to get the roll. And they've cut it now to eight. But the plucky Knights continue to find a way to make things happen. Moore is facing consistent double teams. Every time he touches the ball. Oh, it's going to be an offensive foul called against the Bobcats. To Taylor. Right back to three ball, knocked down. That's going to do it for the first half of play. 23-19 to score. The Bobcats rally. They trail by four. The Breakers, the number one seeds with the lead, will take a break for the half. It is neat to see how the tide has turned here because I knew this was going to have a classic finish. Turnaround move. Sandu off the window. This is the supreme test, Nick. Right here down the stretch side. We'll see what they can do with 5-10 remaining. Spin move Belanger in the paint. Underneath he goes, and he finds Portel for the lay-in. Into the paint, the dish underneath is going to go out of bounds. I think it's, I think it's staying Wildcats ball. There's a feeling in the air, but I don't want to say it. But you know, you know <laughs> we might be, uh, might be in for a lot of basketball here tonight. So a great job by the Bobcats. They have flipped the script here in terms of momentum. All the changes right now have just demobulated this Oak Bay Breakers team. 31 to 26 to score after three quarters. Looks to the Bobcats with a five-point lead after three quarters to play. Puts up a runner on the baseline as he sinks it. Jordan Noor with a huge basket there. And a big triple there. Seeds in the tournament. They are trying to put the finishing touches. Turn to it, looking to move to the basket. That is absolutely beautiful. That basket really significant in terms of what it represents. The grade eight talent on this team, playing with some adrenaline here down the stretch. Under a minute remaining here. And there will be some elation in the house in moments here with these Brooksman Bobcats. Howard Spur and Nick Flint with you here as we get set to close out the BC Junior Boys basketball season. 13 on the shot clock. Abera knocks it away, a scramble for the ball. They're gonna call a jump ball. That's gonna be St. Thomas Four Knights basketball. Shot clock turned off. They can work this down to get the final shot here. That's Abera now with the basketball. The ball in the hands of their go-to guy. Down to 11, down to 10. Here we go, St. Thomas Moore Knights. Tied at 42, Abera barreling into the paint, puts up a shot, he sinks it with 2.4 seconds left in the game. Abera with the shot of his life, and he will make it 44 to 42. Oh my goodness, a timeout called on the floor. So Victor Cortell will inbound with 2.2 seconds left. Here we go. The season hangs in the balance for the Wildcats. They go to Sonny Domi, it's tipped off his hands and out of bounds. So 1.9, and St. Thomas Moore with the basketball. That's a bear act. quickly, he goes to ball. Oh, Ooh, and it's saved there. And that's gonna do it, the St. Thomas Moore Knights, they will storm the court. They have won it all. They are the BC Junior Boys basketball champions. What an incredible story here for these Knights. But that will do it, the Brooksland Bandcats in their own hometown of the Langley Township. They are indeed the champions for 2023. The Brookswood Bobcats. That was like our goal from the start of the season, so it's just, it's really exciting. We went into our first practice, we're going to win the provincial championship, so we've been working our way to get here. It's just awesome for them, the whole team to be great. I think we didn't come out like, 
strong enough or ready to play. I kind of just try to keep calm, try to get my teammates open or get other people on runs so that they don't have to put as many people on me. It's been a long time coming for us and uh, it's great for the school, great for the program. Our defense has carried us the entire season. Quite honestly, we felt that we could have been a higher seed. We were like ranked 11th coming into this. Disrespected the whole season. We lost to this uh, Tamanois team last year in the first round, and you know that motivated us throughout the entire season. Yeah, it was really stressful, you know. They're a really good team. It was very heart racing, and we always joked around about going to Edmonds and stuff. This is where we worked on that, you know. By far the most important and most memorable shot I've ever taken. And our boys believed that from the very beginning that we could win this uh, provincial championship, and they never wavered throughout the entire tournament. We wanted to win so badly. Like I said, that was our goal from the start of the year, so we just wanted to go out strong and I'm just glad that like I could help my team win. We faced number seven, number six, number three. It didn't matter to us. They prepared really well and I'm just so proud of them.